Hiya Pisces, Dana here, Deep Thoughts with Dana, face-to-face, -face, live, right? Well, not live, but, you know, camera-ish. So, anyway, hey, I'm Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is a general reading for the sign of Pisces for the first two weeks of September-ish, right? We really can't box this in. This reading is from whenever it begins to tingle for you to whenever it stops tingling for you, and you may find yourself anywhere in this reading. Perhaps this hasn't unfolded yet, and this is what's going to happen in September. Perhaps you'll find yourself midway through this reading, or maybe this has already happened for you, and this is a recap of the who, what, where, when, why, and how. Either way, anyway, <laughs> it is a general reading for the sign of Pisces. If you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, this reading may very well resonate with you. And if it doesn't, don't try to make it fit, okay? I also want to say that this is an R-rated channel, and I very well may swear. <laughs> so if that bothers you, you may want to just swipe to the left right now and um, click off because it very well could happen, okay? All right. Um, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Link in the box below. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Oh yes, please, please don't make a life-altering decision off of a general tarot card reading. My general tarot card readings or anybody else's, okay? This is not a reading for you. This is a general thread that's going through the sign of Pisces based on the planetary positions at the moment, okay? Don't make a decision for your life based on anybody's general reading, okay? All right. Okay, Pisces. So let's get into this. This is a big one. This is a big one. All right. So we are going to start with the first card out. Now I lay 15 cards. I lay 15 because one plus five is six. Six is the number of communication and problem solving. And that's what we're doing here, right? So plus a bazillion clarifying cards. Okay. So we start out the first card of this reading is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is about reflection and assessment. It's about, it's about reaping profit and reward from the investment that you have put into something or not reaping the profit and reward for the investment that you've put into something. But you're doing a lot of reflection and assessment, okay? You open this reading with a lot of reflection and assessment to the Five of Pentacles in reverse. You'd really like to come out of the cold with somebody or something, okay? You would really like to um, rectify a situation in your life. The Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles in reverse is clarified by the Five of Cups and the Three of Cups. The Five of Cups tells me that you've been reflecting and assessing on um, what happened in the situation, right? Five of Cups is feelings of um, despair, disappointment, um, loss, regret right? It's, it's, it's a card of just being really bummed out. And I want to point out that there are three cups, right? Three cups. And there is a hint of a third party situation in this card, right? Some, a third energy that caused disappointment and despair, which is probably why you want to come out of the cold, okay? It's probably why one or both of you left each other out in the cold because there was a third party situation which caused a lot of despair and disappointment. Three of Cups comes in though and again hints to a third party situation but this cup is about wanting to reunite, right? Wanting to sit down and uh, talk to this person. Wanting to sit down and talk and um, just just come together right? Come together and, and, and bury the hatchet. Mend the fences and bury the hatchet. However, the four of wands in reverse tells me that there's a communication breakdown, okay? There's a communication breakdown and the two of wands in reverse tells me that you have fear of the unknown, right? Because of the six of swords in reverse. There's too much water under the bridge. There's a lot of baggage, in this situation, in this relationship, um, that that makes you have a fear of the unknown, right? So reflecting and assessing about what happened, wanting to come out of the cold with somebody or or a situation, 
Um, Five of Cups says there's loss, regret, disappointment, possibly because of some kind of third energy, third party situation. It doesn't always have to be a human being, right? It can be pretty much anything. And the Three of Cups says that you just want to, you want to come back together. You want to reunite. You want to sit down. You want to talk it out. But there's no communication going on with the Four of Wands in reverse a breakdown in communication which leaves you having fear of the unknown with the two of wands in reverse because you don't know if this is ever going to really take place six of swords in reverse says that there's just so much water under the bridge right so much water under the bridge ah my nose is itching i'm channeling the world card in reverse it talks about delays right delays there's just delays going on here Clarified by the hangman. This is you pausing, processing, surrendering, accepting, and coming out on the other side of this energy with a new perspective. Card of Pisces, by the way. To the Princess of Pentacles. This Princess of Pentacles in reverse is about um, a lack of progress, right? There's a lack of progress. to the nine of cups, which is wishes fulfilled. There's a lack of progress to your wishes being fulfilled. Your wishes being to come out of the five of pentacles, to come out of being left out in the cold and to sit down and talk with this person, right? But there's no progress being made. And in the Hank Man energy, you just kind of accept that. It's just kind of a, it just kind of sits heavy in your chest and you're like, well, what are you going to do, right? You want to engage. You want to work it out. You want to work this situation out with this person or situation, right? To the Ten of Cups. You want to reestablish values alignment, harmony, and peace in the relationship. But you're just uh, you're just kind of like given you're kind of like in the give up mode with the hang with the with the hangman, right? You're just like, eh, there's no progress, there's no communication, there's a lot of water under the bridge, and I, as much as I want this, I just really don't ever think it's going to happen. Okay, so we come to the second row first card. This is the emperor. This is the object of your desire right here. This represents a person in this reading. This emperor can be male or female, okay? But this emperor is somebody who is large and in charge, okay? You see them as somebody who is um, who has authority and truth in what they speak. They're wise beyond their years. They're just a very, very controlled, um, probably successful person that is all about the establishment and the structure of life in general. Well, this emperor character right here is actually in decision-making mode. They're in decision-making mode as to whether they want to come out of the cold with you or not. Okay? So we're kind of getting a little bit of a backstory. So we talked about you in this top row. Now we're talking about this person. This emperor right here is in decision-making mode as to whether they want to come out of the cold with you or not. The Ten of Wands, there's this, this whole thing for them has also been a burden and a struggle, right? And they want to end it. They want accomplishment, okay? They want to drop the burden and the struggle, and they want accomplishment with you. They want justice in this situation where there was an injustice, they want justice. Where there was unfairness and dishonesty, they want fairness and honesty. They want to speak their truth, Pisces. They want to speak their truth. The Knight of Pentacles says that they're slow coming though. They're slow to do it. This is a card about being slow and methodical, okay? So I think what they're doing is they are um, formulating with that King of Swords their thought processes, okay? They're formulating how they feel about the situation. They're formulating how it is that they're going to move towards you. They're formulating how the conversation is going to go when it actually happens. This is clarified by the emperor. Again, this emperor is 
And I kind of get the feeling, Pisces, that maybe they're trying to take care of something in their life right now. They feel like something needs to be um, wrapped up before they can come towards you. I don't know why I feel that, but I do. I feel like something needs to be, something needs to come to a culmination, to a conclusion before they can actually let loose and come towards you. But this, this reiterates that this is an emperor. It could be an Aries that you're dealing with. Could be a fire sign. Could be any freaking buddy Aries. <laughs> could be anybody Pisces. But you see them as an emperor, and I think they also see themselves as an emperor, okay? Just taking their time, getting their thoughts together, and they're not in a big hurry to come towards you because when they do come towards you, they are bringing the Ace of Pentacles, an opportunity. They are bringing a message of creating a brand new beginning with you, Pisces, but they're being slow and methodical about it because they want it to be right, okay? All right, back to you, Pisces back to you. In the center of your reading, you are the Nine of Swords in reverse. You're feeling hopeless, right? As that whole top row said right there, hopeless, too much water under the bridge. Y'all aren't communicating. Um, there's delays. There's not any progress. And it puts you in the Nine of Swords. You feel hopeless about the whole situation. Just hopeless clarified by the seven of cups wishful thinking right total wishful thinking you're thinking that this person has options you're thinking that this person just really isn't interested wishful thinking on your part pisces to the nine of wands despite your persistence despite your endurance in this situation the Queen of Swords in reverse comes in and tells me that, um, that, that you feel that this person doesn't have any emotions left for you, okay? You feel hopeless. You feel that it's wishful thinking, that you have been waiting for a long time, and you are you just kind of like in the hangman energy. You're like, this person just doesn't have feelings for me anymore. But little do you know, Pisces, that this emperor is planning their return into your life. They are planning a return into your life as we speak. Okay, they're tying up some loose ends, they're formulating their thought processes, and they are going to come towards you with the Ace of Pentacles, the, the offer of, of an opportunity to create a new beginning. Five of Swords comes in, next best thing to the Seven of Swords. This is about betrayal, deceit, deception, shady behavior, mind games, right? Because that's what went on between you guys in the past, okay? It's what went on in this situation in the past. There was just shady behavior. Two, judgment in reverse. This is about self-doubt, Self-doubt. Lots of self-doubt going on here, Pisces. Loneliness and loss. Okay? Okay. This little pocket right here is telling us what happened in the past. What happened between you and this emperor, Pisces. This is what this is telling us. I just, duh. It just was like an epiphany, okay? <laughs> so, so um, lots of self-doubt. There was self-doubt because there was you perceived what you perceived to be a loss because this person had more than just you okay this person had a queen of pentacles which to me always talks about somebody in that's already embedded in their life Okay, it's somebody that is part of their daily routine. It's somebody that they talk with every day. It's somebody that's in their life. And then there's you as the queen of wands. And I know you're not a fire sign, you're a water sign. But nevertheless, this emperor sees you as the queen of wands, okay? To the um, temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse talks to us about a variety of different things, but mostly temperance in reverse talks to us about um, an imbalance, right? An imbalance and a need for self-healing because this whole situation 
is the devil energy. It's toxic, toxic. It's dishonest. It is not um, conducive to 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 happiness in any way whatsoever. So what these cards tell us, Pisces, is that you have a lot of self doubt because they're in a relate because there's loss. Okay, loss with the four the the ten of pentacles in reverse. So you have a lot of self-doubt because um, they, honestly, they chose this Queen of Pentacles over you. And this created a misalignment of values that you needed to heal from. And the entire situation was just toxic, just off the chart toxic, at least to you, Pisces. And that's why... That's why you are um, in separation at this particular moment. And she knows. You are in a state of self-protection right now, right? Locked down, not, not giving anything, not receiving anything, just in a state of lockdown because of that situation. Because... Because they have a Queen of Pentacles in their life or had a Queen of Pentacles in their life. Ooh, maybe that's what that Emperor is trying to wrap up right there before they come forward to you. Perhaps they're trying to wrap up that Queen of Pentacles situation. Mm-hmm. 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 But either way, you're in lockdown with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. In lockdown. The Prince of Swords in reverse. This is a card about incredible impatience. Okay? Incredible impatience. You're in lockdown. You really, really want to get together with this person and bury the hatchet and make amends. Okay? But um, you feel like it's never going to happen. You feel like it's never going to happen. They're preparing to come to you, Pisces, but you don't know that yet. Well, now you do. <laughs> Thank God for tarot, right? Now you do. Now you know they're coming to you. But you have a great deal of impatience, right? Great deal of impatience. Princess of Swords says that perhaps... Oh, no. I see what's going on here, Pisces. I see what's going on here. So this situation over here, right? You have a lot of self-doubt because you were the loser in this situation. They chose a queen of pentacles over you, created a bunch of toxicity that um, that you needed to, to heal from, okay? That you needed to heal from. That you needed to heal from. When this situation was going on, it caused a great deal of... of, of insecurity caused you to go into lockdown self-protection mode because you were challenged there was competition and you were challenged right you were challenged so what you did is you made a decision with a disregard for consequences very impatient not going to stand around and wait for 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 this whole thing to work out you were like screw this I'm out. If you want the Queen of Pentacles, take her, run with it, but I'm not having anything to do with this. So you made some kind of a decision. You executed a decision with a disregard for consequences. You were like, fuck it. To the Six of Pentacles, I warned you, our rated channel. The Six of Pentacles in reverse talks about selfishness and greed. Okay? So you 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 made a decision in your best interest Pisces you made a decision in your best interest and the princess of swords says that you didn't give much communication about it at all you didn't give much communication about it at all you just pulled the trigger and you acted that's where the five of pentacles comes from you left this person out in the cold you left this whole relationship or this situation out in the cold and you um you just simply left you just left Okay, back to the Emperor. Okay, so there you are, Pisces, sitting in your um, despair. Okay, sitting in your despair. 
wanting to reunite with this person, wanting to talk about what happened. There's no communication going on. You feel like there's too much water under the bridge. Fear of the unknown because you don't know if you're ever going to talk to this person again or not, right? Um, kind of accepting it in the hangman energy. You know, you, you, really, you really see this as wishes fulfilled. You want to work it out. You want to create harmony in the relationship again. In the center of your reading, you're in the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Wands, and the Seven of Cups to the Five of Swords. You think it's just hopeless. You think it's wishful thinking, hopeless. It's never, ever going to happen because they, 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 they have a relationship with this Queen of Pentacles over here and you were the one that was left out in the cold in that situation, okay? But we have this emperor over here that is that is thinking differently. This emperor, who is the subject matter of this reading, is in a decision-making process in their life right now. They are burdened and struggled, but there's accomplishment at the end, and there will be justice in the situation, okay? They're working towards dumping the burden and the struggle that was created by them, I think, making a bad decision to go towards this Queen of Pentacles person and choose them instead of you. And now there's going to be some truth spoken and some justice in the situation because slowly they are taking care of some issues, maybe the Queen of Pentacles, in their life and preparing to move towards you with the Knight of Pentacles. This Emperor wants to create establishment and structure in the relationship and they're going to bring you a message of creating a brand new opportunity between the two of you. But you don't know this. And you're all tied up with all of this despair, right? All of this despair. And, 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 and. <laughs> there is some communication that's coming into you from this emperor. There is going to be movement, action, and swift change in the situation as soon as this emperor pulls it all together, okay? Ace of Swords says, truth will be spoken. There will be mental clarity, mental breakthroughs. Truth will be spoken in the form of a message of creating something new together, Pisces. You and this emperor. And they are going to speak their truth. Both of y'all are going to speak your truth. You're going to have a conversation and there's going to be an energetic shift, shift in this relationship to create something new. The, the Prince of Pentacles, right? The Page of Pentacles. This is an offer. This is a message to manifest, right? But we have you, Pisces, in your cards. You're in this reading three times so far, right? With the Hangman, the Moon card, and the High Priestess. So this Moon card says that there is fear, Anxiety, illusion, right? Struggling with your subconscious mind. This is also a card about being absolutely um, bewildered, right? You did not expect this to come in. You did not expect it to come in and it blows your mind. And in the mood card, there's fear, there's anxiety, there's confusion, right? It totally and completely bewilders you. You also don't really trust this whole situation, okay? You don't trust that this emperor is coming to you straight and true and right just yet, right? Because then we have the high priestess, right? There are, there is a, there, there's something that you don't know about this emperor that isn't clear. It's just not clear for you just yet, Pisces. But you know what? What comes in is the tower. This is a tower moment for you. It's a tower moment for the relationship. It is an awakening, an absolute, complete and total awakening. Because I believe the communication that comes into you right here with the Eight of Wands, swift change, action, movement, communication 
an energetic shift in the relationship because some truth was spoken in a message of of creation okay and i think what this truth is that's spoken to you is that this person has gone through a complete and total personal transformation with this tower card okay a complete and total personal transformation and this clears up it clears up the confusion the fear the anxiety with the moon card and with the high priestess in reverse this is talking about about secrets withdrawal silence right and and this tower moment clears up everything and i think this is a dual purpose tower moment because this communication that comes in from this emperor blows your mind blows your mind this is your tower moment and i believe that this emperor also tells you about a tower moment that they've had in their own life right and it clears up a lot of confusion we got all these okay so hold on let me get situated here so this communication brings you a lot of foresight right a lot of foresight about um what's what's coming down the road it gives you foresight isn't exactly there's expansion in your life coming there's expansion in this relationship coming and this card is giving you a little bit of a sneak peek about what's coming down the road in this relationship okay so we have the king of swords this is somebody speaking truth absolute truth absolute truth to the prince of wands in reverse this prince of wands in reverse is about pessimism okay so somebody is speaking truth but you're still a little bit pessimistic about the whole thing the three of wands in reverse talks about there being um obstacles to the long-term goals the moon card comes in again and talks to us about confusion anxiety repressed emotions because of what happened in the past the breakup right right so somebody speaks their truth with the king of swords about their pessimism in regards to expansion Okay, so somebody's either speaking truth about their pessimism in regards to how this relationship could move forward or their truth that they're speaking to you creates pessimism about moving forward or it could be both. You could be both just meet up and be like, you know what, I don't know, there's too much water under the bridge. I don't know if this can all work or not. But they're the ones that are bringing you the message, right? So I think that this is you, okay? This is you speaking your truth about being pessimistic and that there, there's, there's delays and obstacles to any kind of long-term growth because there's still residual anxiety about this breakup in the first place, about this, about this Queen of Pentacles to the Queen of Wands to the devil over here, right? There's still, I mean, you just can't quite put that down, right? It's, it, you just can't quite put that down. But they are coming to you as the King of Wands, right? They are passionately coming into you as the King of Wands. And they are telling you that they want power control stability abundance that they have ambition to move this relationship forward they want to make long-term plans with you pisces and they again bring the ace of pentacles an opportunity to manifest a brand new beginning <laughs> 
this brings peace, rest and recuperation into the relationship. Victory, progress, and self-confidence in a Two of Cups relationship, right? In a unified love relationship. That's what's on the table here. A unified love relationship. Inner strength, right? And courage. That's what you're pulling on because you want to believe this, right? This is what you want, Pisces. This is what you want. But you were so caught up in your hopelessness that this could never happen that when it actually happens you're in the moon and the 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 high priestess in reverse and you're just all just swirling in your head right and you need some inner strength you need some courage right because of the six of pentacles in reverse because somebody was selfish somebody was selfish in the past and and they alienated you and they hurt you Pisces the devil in reverse says that I believe both of you are releasing your limiting beliefs limiting beliefs beliefs that limit growth okay you're going to release your limiting beliefs about what this relationship could be and they have already released their limiting beliefs and I feel it's about themselves. The chariot in reverse says this was the opposition. This was, all right, I'm going to recap right there. This is this emperor releasing limiting beliefs about you and the, the, the potential to have a good relationship. Okay, there was something that this emperor, remember I said they're working on something back here? Maybe it was releasing the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe it's releasing their own limiting beliefs. Maybe there's differences between you, Pisces. Maybe there's an age difference. Maybe there's a culture difference, a religion difference. Um, but they're releasing limiting beliefs about you and about this relationship. And the chariot comes in and says that was their opposition in the first place. That's why they chose the Queen of Pentacles over the Queen of Wands, which was representing you. Okay, that's why they chose um, to do what they did because they had limiting beliefs. There was some kind of attachment in their life that was a restriction to their personal growth. And that was the opposition in the first place, Pisces. That's why this relationship never made in the first place. There was something in their belief system that kept them from moving forward with you. Okay? Ace of Wands. They are taking inspired action to create a passionate new beginning with you, Pisces. To the Hierophant, they want commitment this time around. To justice, this is justice in the situation, absolute justice in this situation, because they have released their limiting beliefs. They've come around to a new way of thinking. They've had a tower moment. They have changed their everything. So while you're in the hangman energy with feelings of despair, disappointment, hopelessness, right? Thinking this person doesn't even care about you because there's a breakdown in communication. There's no communication between you. So you, you are in your energy, Pisces, thinking it's just hopeless. You're like, oh, I wish we could bury the hatchet. I wish we could reunite. I wish... You know, I, I I really wish we could create harmony in this relationship again. And he, you're in your energy, just trotting along in that energy while they're over here pulling some massive magic shit out of their out of their tower moment. They are, they are reinventing themselves. They are reinventing themselves, Pisces, and they are bringing you 
communication of a brand new beginning. They're bringing you truth. They're bringing you truth. They're bringing you a message of creating a new beginning and they're bringing an energetic push, swift change, movement, action. They have had a personal transformation, Pisces, and all they know now is that they want an inspired new beginning with you. They want commitment with you, and they want to bring justice to a situation that was extremely unjust. Okay? They know they know full well this devil is the emperor they know full well that they hurt you so hard with this queen of pentacles right here they know that they did and they regret it and i think this self-healing right here may even be this emperor this devil energy that created this big mess in the first place Maybe they did some self. I think both y'all did self healing. I think both y'all had a tower moment. I think both of y'all released limiting beliefs. I think both y'all individually have gone through a massive metamorphosis that is now allowing this relationship to come together with an inspired, passionate new beginning, commitment and justice Pisces this is beautiful this is beautiful this is a beautiful reading Pisces so if you are hanging around in this hopeless energy right here if you're hanging around in this hopeless energy thinking that this person has no emotions for you anymore at all right thinking that there is a breakdown in communication that there's too much water under the bridge right to bring anybody out of the five of Pentacles to bring anybody in from the cold in to 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 come out of spiritual poverty right to reunite and reconcile you Pisces are wrong you're wrong because this person is coming slowly towards you. They want to create establishment and structure in the relationship, and they want a brand new beginning with you, Pisces. They have the Ace of Pentacles. They have the Ace of Wands. They have the Page of Pentacles. They have the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Princess of Cups, Hierophant, justice the eight of wands again what else we got going on here the devil in reverse two of cups the ace of pentacles again two of cups what else we got what else we got justice Right on, Pisces. Look at these cards. An inspired new beginning. Justice to the situation. The manifestation of a brand new beginning. A unified love relationship. A unified love relationship. The manifestation of a brand new beginning. Releasing limiting beliefs. The manifestation of a brand new beginning. Truth. Communication, action, swift change, communicate, a message of creation, commitment, and justice. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's it's an amazing reading. It's an amazing reading. Let's get an oracle card from the Magdalene Oracle, okay? Spirit, what is it that Pisces needs to know here? What is it that Pisces needs to know? Parting words, words of wisdom anything at all that Pisces whoa needs to know anything at all that Pisces needs to know the card Sophia just came out anything else Pisces needs to know let's see what Sophia has to say 
Someone dear to you needs your love and support at the moment, perhaps even your forgiveness. Put aside any recent disagreements. Let it all go and make up. Deep down, you both know that you love each other. Life is too short to waste. Adopt a loving attitude for love will heal all things. Honor and respect each other's differences. Individ individuality is sacred. You are both beautiful souls. Through love and forgiveness, a world of infinite possibility and contentment awaits you. If that doesn't freaking resonate, you haven't been listening. Oh, that's amazing. That's an awesome, that's awesome. Yeah, the tarot never ceases to amaze me. Let's do another one. Let's do animal. Messages from your animal spirit guide. Spirit, what is the message for Pisces from their animal spirit guide? Let's see. This is a good time to go on a new adventure, which this is definitely a new adventure, right? Anything else you want to say here? Anything else? For the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. And take time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially family members. That is awesome, Pisces. This was a great reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that it gave you some hope, faith, purpose, renewal. I hope that I was the star card for you, Pisces. Hope, faith, purpose, renewal, and spirituality. Pisces, this is a beautiful reading and um, you've got a lot to look forward to. So pull yourself out of that sense of hopelessness, okay? Because it, it's, it's, it's coming towards you, Pisces. This emperor just needs an opportunity to get themselves together. I hope you enjoyed it. Namaste.